it's early again. It's just gone eight o'clock. I've got my second tea of the day on the go. Because I had one at home this morning. And I'm walking against the flow of people. So I'm heading for here. I am cutting this fine. It's 8.07. Uh, my train's in 10 minutes. There's a massive queue at the ticket office, so I'm... I should, I should just make it. I should just get a ticket at the ticket machine. Railway service to Aylesbury. Let's do it. Lease you station in Buckinghamshire. Where well, the platform is on that side, and my companion is over there. Is over there. That man. 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 Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? Hello, hello, Steve. Morning, YouTube. Good morning, YouTube. Right. Yeah. Where is my cup of tea? That way. And um, I just want to point out, you're actually an Aylesbury local, aren't you? Yes. Do you know what? We haven't got time to do this on the platform. Let's get me a drink and then we'll do this on the train. Cool. Which, if you haven't worked out by now, is this little heritage unit in the background. That's cool. It's a class one, two, one heritage unit. They call them bubble cars, right? Yes. Yeah. Look at the handle. Some doors. That's a cup of tea. Thank you very much for the knife. T number, do you want to go ding? Would, would you like to make the, the ding noise? Ding. And now I don't have to layer it in. <laughs> We're off! Oh, dead, we are, on, dead on time. We are moving dead on time. Can you explain, as an Ailes free local, why they're still running uh, this whole class one? One, two, two, one, one. Yeah. bubble car, heritage train. Basically, there is just this shuttle service between Ellsbury and Princess Risborough at peak times only, so they don't have to take a regular train that they'd rather run on the um, Maryland to Birmingham route out of service. So this runs only about kind of three times in the morning peak and three times in the evening peak. I wonder what modifications they've had to make to this train to, to make to bring it up to today's modern safety standards. They certainly had to put electric locks on the slam doors and I think they had to put automatic train protection or something like that braking. So if you that. tried to open this door right now are you saying that that wouldn't work? It wouldn't work. You can't even do the old pull down the um, you window. Can't, you can't pull the down the window? I don't believe so. Completely locked out. So Monks Risborough is a tiny, ah, oh, look at the sun, it's a tiny one platform train. And you're saying that's the second lease use station. So Monks Risborough is the second lease use station. It's quite noisy. Yes. <laughs> it's rattly and it's squeaky and it's noisy and I love it. Uh, and we're here, we're here. That took just seven minutes from Princess Risborough and we are arriving at Little Kimball. I'm excited to announce I've already seen the permit to travel machine. It's already here. Let's do it, Steve. <laughs> Let's do the board. There's only one, two, three, four, so it's four trains that go to Aylesbury in the morning. And then a three hour gap. Until one o'clock, and then, a, so there's kind of two, there's a lunchtime and a mid-afternoon service, and then it picks up again for the evening, and then it, and then it, and there are some late night services, even including one after midnight. Uh, do you want to do the permit to travel machine, or shall I? Oh, 
give it a shot. It is working. I really should, I haven't been collecting it. I should have started at Long Cross. I did get one at Long Cross, but I didn't get one at Bewley Road. Lawrence has the one at Bewley Road. And the one at Faygate, because my mum wasn't working. Steve's going to do... I have five pins. You have it, Jeff. <laughs> really? I'm going to be generous. I can have your permit. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> Don't say I've never given you anything. <laughs> You've never given me anything. So we, we've crossed over the road and there's a wide shot of the station. This is clearly the old station building. Yes. Which has now been turned into a private residence. That's right. And on the platform, you can actually see their back garden allotment. That'd be cool to have that as your, as your house. You could literally, you could wait in your lounge until you heard the train pull up and then nip out, lock your I, door and get the train. I would be slightly less keen knowing that there's a train coming by at 11 minutes past midnight. But, Every day. but if that was your train home, that would be really handy, mm. knowing that you that you get home. You could go drinking in London, huh? by Marylebone Station, hop on the train and literally just turn up and it would take you 10 seconds to get from the platform to your front door. <laughs> Apart from that, what I can see is that there's a nice field with uh, some horses in. Yes. There we go, it takes just 48 seconds to walk from one end of the platform to the other. <laughs> 48 seconds. Well, that Steve? Steve's coming up with a very interesting point. You were saying about having like some kind of rating system for all the different stations. You've obviously, you've obviously seen some yes, of the other videos in the all system. The videos so far. And you're saying there should be a point system based on what? Give me, give me some uh, criteria. I think you should get um, points whether it's a permit to travel right. or whether it's a ticket machine. Hang on, d d double points if the permit to travel is actually working. Yes, yes. <laughs> as we've seen, quite a few <laughs> failed ticket machines so far. Yes. Um, what about like a point a, for a bench? Point for a bench point or for seating. A, point for shelter. Yes. Points uh, for dot matrix boards or whether you have to consult the timetables. Right. I'm now going to have to start retrospectively adding up all these points, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, so we can find out what is the least used, least friendly station. One that's just a platform and nothing else. I can't get a shot of the departure board. My video camera is interlaced and it just flickers. The next train is the 9.41 to Marlebone. what action you'd like to do to bring the figures up on the screen. One of these, I'm hoping that one day somebody will actually sort of like bring a magic wand or... <laughs> I don't know. You're, you're I, just, you're just I, gonna... I think the old-fashioned click. You can't beat it. Steve, with the click of your fingers, uh, we're going to present on screen how many... what the annual passenger usage is for Little Kimball in the 2015 to 16 period, according to the ORR statistics. We could click together. Yeah, let's a, give that a go. A, a, a double click. Okay. On three. Two, one. one. What does that say? Four thousand nine hundred and eighteen. Divide that by three six five. It's about thirteen and a half, and not that I did that in advance. This line was opened by the Wickham Railway in Very eighteen good. sixty three. Primarily as a freight line, I, I thought. I believe so. Um, and the station came later? Yeah, Great Western Railway then took over the line in 1867 okay. and opened this station in 1872. And it's always been single it's, track? It's always been single track, it's always been called Little Kimball. It's always but hasn't changed its name? No. Nope. You know, nope. Kim Kimball Heights or something? or No, afraid not. Okay, we've come up to the is this the eastern end of the platform? Um, but look, it looks like it used to go further. Are you sure? There's kind of some railway hmm. paraphernalia here. Was but, there a siding? No, no, no. There's, look, there's definitely a pile of old sleepers. That's probably just ones they've, uh, they've replaced and never got rid of. There's one other thing that we should uh, say about Mr. Kimball. Do you want to do it? I think the year was 1998. 98. Yes. Uh, it was the G8 summit. In Birmingham. Uh, and that was the year uh, where Tony Blair was in power and they'd held the comment, the comment, the uh, conference, sorry, uh, in Birmingham. And then Tony Blair said to all like, the world leaders and stuff, hey, let's all come and hang out at my place. What's it called? Checkers. Which is just up the road. Which is that 
direction. And they all went, all the men went by car, but the women, how about this? So Sherry Blair and all the wives and stuff of all the leaders, including Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton, President Clinton. She's president, right? <laughs> <laughs> they got the royal train here. They, they commandeered the royal train. The royal train uh, came down from Birmingham, reversed at Risborough, at Risborough pulled in here. Okay. So Cherry Blair and President Clinton <laughs> have stood on this platform. Yes. He waves back. The driver waves back. I love it when the driver waves back. Message to all drivers: If you see me, always wave back. Oh, it's two, oh, two, two cars. Oh. Four car does just about fit in. Let's do it. Let's do it. My little Kimball. We've come to Morrison's in Aylesbury. Look at my hair, hat hair. Uh, and I've just had, hang on, what are we up to now? I had one, had one at home, two. One at Risborough. One at, two, one at Risborough, four. Four. Ding. Steve's making a list. What's on your list, Steve? So, ticket machines, and whether they're working or not. Permanent travel machines, also whether they're working or not. Uh, dot matrix board, timetables. We've done it, we've totted it up. Uh, I feel like at this point, a, an actual nice graphic should appear on, on the screen. And then because everybody asks, where's the map? I always put the link to the map in the description. Here's the map of all the ones I've done so far. Steve, I think we're done. I think we've covered everything. Are you walking home from here? Yeah. You just walk, um, are you going to come and wave me off at the train station? Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. Can we get one more ding? Ding. <laughs> <laughs>